Mayuki-san said happened to her. That's why Mayuki-san seems so gloomy. Um, I'm really sorry about what happened to Mayuki-san. But that's great material! This sucks. It's been forever since I've had a good idea. How do you come up with ideas for manga anyway? Hmm. I don't have any surefire method or anything, but I usually get ideas from real life and stuff. <gasps> Real life, huh? You read them, uh, didn't you? Well, uh, that depends. I Admit uh, it, you did! Well, I... She showed you even after all that begging. I'm, I'm sorry. Those stories weren't from real life. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, I thought the stories were good and really fun to read. Great, thanks a lot. And there were a few that felt like they happened to me. I got a feeling of deja vu while reading them. I'd like to read some of her stories, too. I bet those stories were based on you guys. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry! Hmm? Oh, hey, how's it going, ma'am? Good morning. Up all night playing games again? Or maybe you did some late-night anime watching? You know it. And these days, there's tons more anime series on late at night. Yeah, that rules. Okay, you could at least lie and tell me you were studying. I've been seriously thinking about splurging on a DVD recorder or something. That might help. <laughs> Save your money. Why bother? You'll record the shows and never get around to them. Kind of like how your games pile up. Huh? What are you talking about? Whoa, hang on a second. You've got to be kidding. Yeah, right. You wish. Listen, I don't have anything to do with any of it. Uh, mm. Hey, it's me. Did you just hang up on me? Well, I guess we got disconnected. Yeah, I, I had three bars. Anyway, I was acting immature a minute ago. Sorry. No, I didn't hang up on you. That's not why. I can't believe I'm back for another visit. Let's have ourselves a peek inside, shall we? Not to worry. We just need to pop the filling back in and you'll be as right as rain. Now, about that tooth in the back. I believe I've detected some decay. We should start treatment immediately. Lucky star! What's wrong? Oh, nothing, sis. I just kind of realized how much strawberries smell like shortcakes is all. <laughs> I get it. You meant to say that shortcakes smell like strawberries, right? You know, because they have strawberries inside them. Huh? Hey, I guess. Oh, it's okay. It's not like getting confused like that's a bad thing. Good morning, everybody. I hope you slept well. Hey, you, chan Good, Good morning. morning. Here's today's food. Wow, look at all the animals. They're doing some kind of special about pets. First, I'd like to introduce you to a Welsh corgi named Koo. Wow, well, it's a corgi. He's super cute. I don't know about the dog, but the owner's pretty darn cute. And her thigh-high socks get extra points. There's just enough skin showing between them and her skirt. She'd look awesome in a gothic maid ensemble. Next, we have Sylviana, a Siberian husky. Look, a husky. I like huskies a lot. I wonder why you don't see them that much now. Whoa, you? soon to that. Now that's what I'm talking about. Oh, fantastic. Anybody who likes to walk around with their hair and ponytails is definitely soon to that. Wow, I didn't know you were into playing games and stuff. Yeah, but I suck big time, Adam. You want to play or something? <laughs> oh, oh, you're awesome, Kitty Kitty. <laughs> Watching her have so much fun makes me feel like a loser. Because all I care about is winning. That's a ton of stinky. Can something stinky be more? Oh, hey there, Patricia-san. How's it going? We're seeing you a lot on this side of the school these days. Well, Patty's really enthusiastic about learning. In fact, you could say I've taken her under my wing. I'm teaching her everything she needs to know about the essence of Japanese culture. Yeah, whatever. If you're teaching her, she's only going to be learning about a subculture, if anything. But otaku are the pride of Japanese culture. Mm -hmm. I'm on a mission to absorb everything mm -hmm. I can here. Take it all back to America and distribute it to mm -hmm. the faithful. You're right about one. One thing, she is enthusiastic. Anyway, what about music, Patricia-san? Do you have any favorite bands that you like? Hmm, let me see. There's Orange Rain, Chemistry, Snail Head, Pornography, Le Arcancine, Nightmare, and a bunch of others. I listen to all kinds of different Japanese bands. Wow, you sure do. That's impressive, but all the bands you just named sing anime songs. Wow, good one, Konato. You're oh. so sharp. And you're only listening to the songs they did for anime, right? Ah, 
You know, I really need to get myself a maid. Huh? It'd be nice to get a maid. Yeah, I guess that would be nice. I heard you don't live in a dorm, but that you have a place all to yourself. Yep, and the cooking, laundry, manga, and anime keep me busy. I bet it's hard, especially if you're not used to it. No wonder you want to get yourself a housekeeper. Oh no, I don't want to get a housekeeper, I want to get a maid. Uh, I didn't even know there was a difference. What? You're kidding, right? They're totally different. Hasn't this country taught you anything? Actually, I think you might be getting the wrong idea about Japan. Oh. No, I'm sorry, girl, I can't. Fried food's a no-no. She knows you'll give in, Minami. That's why she isn't going away. I'll take care of her, hun. Come on, I've got something for you. <sighs> Slow down, girl. But now I feel so lonely. Everybody in our class thinks she's too quiet and really scary, but the truth is that she's super kind, totally awesome, and really cool. You know her. She's the one staying over at Izumi-san's house. She just admires her so much. Oh, does she now? Minami-chan, would you take this? I have to agree, she is rather awesome and cool, isn't she? Yes, why even Izumi-san thinks so. Minami-chan always gives off this cool-headed Little Miss Perfect vibe. But when she's with you-chan, you can tell that she's really a good human being. And that's what she said about her. Oh, I'm sorry. Because it's on sale, we have to limit it to only one per customer. Oh, oh my. She's cool-headed and a Little Miss Perfect. <laughs> And here's what Kagami-san and Tsukasa-san have to say about her. Minami-chan seems like the type who does everything quickly, efficiently, and perfectly. I think Minami-chan's awesome because she seems like she can do anything. I wish I could be like her. Kagami-san and Tsukasa-san speak so highly of Minami-chan. I think it's wonderful that everyone admires her. Yeah, but Mom, I can't because it's limited to one per customer. Huh? Oh, mm-hmm. anime series I rented. <laughs> this looks really cool. Uh, you sure are into this stuff, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'm not really that much into mecha or anything. What? What do you mean you're not into mecha? Why the heck are you watching the show then? In order to attract a broader audience, the creators of these mecha series are tossing in a lot more cute boy and girl characters.